Hey guys, Andrew from PixelatedGeek.com. I just got back from E3 2014. I, my feet absolutely killing me. I did make the uh, distinct decision to wear sneakers with my cool suit. Um, now, I can't say that I came up with the idea by myself. I did uh, throw that out to Twitter for you guys to kind of decide on. Uh, Geeks with Wife actually said, hey, you know what? I think you should do it. You should go with sneakers and absolutely the proper choice for E3. Now, if anyone doesn't know anything about E3, uh, it's a lot of walking. I went up with my uh, Nike Fuel Band. Started with zero points, of course, because I just woke up. Ended with at least 3,000. Uh, I probably could have done a lot more, but there was a lot of driving uh, back and forth involved. Um, so anyways, uh, hit up Nintendo right away because that, well, uh, as I was driving up, I wasn't able to see the Nintendo conference, but our staff members were doing a live stream of it, and my phone was going off saying, Andrew, you need to get to Nintendo first. Hit up, try to find Star Fox. That was one of the things they talked about. But the other thing, well, you know, I'm wearing the lanyard. Let's just jump right in. I got some hands-on time with Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Now, um, the rounds I played, I got to play probably about eight rounds, maybe more. Um, everybody was uh, trying to win a t-shirt, so Nintendo had set up this great uh, display. They had this giant big screen, uh, along with a whole bunch of demos uh, all throughout the floor of uh, Super Smash Bros. Uh, and what you were doing is you were playing for a t-shirt. So you'd have a group of four, so you have a four-player brawl, and uh, only one person basically gets to walk away with a coin. Now later on, if they exchange that coin for a t-shirt, they get to move on to the championships on the big screen. And now when I say big screen, you know, yeah, you think, well, man, 72 inches, that's, that's a big screen, maybe 80 inches. You know, that's what I'm trying to get for my house, if I ever can convince my wife. Um, but this was like theater-sized LCD. It was gorgeous. Um, they had a nice little stand in the middle where everybody was throwing down and you saw some of the most ultimate matches because everybody, you know, they had won the matches so they were already skilled and the throwdown just was amazing. So anyways, got some hands on time. Now, I was trying to win the shirt so bad, I was sticking with my core character, Kirby, which you guys know, come on, Kirby's the best. Need I say more? Um, but I did get to experience uh, <laughs> the joys of Little Mac in the sense of getting my butt kicked by him. Um, Little Mac, by the way, he's an awesome character. I really enjoy uh, playing against him. What I noticed, uh, however, while he is super duper strong, and let me tell you guys that, he, he's the one to fear. He does not have necessarily the air capabilities that other characters have. So if you can get him in the air, he is totally effed. Now, that to be said, I mean, you have to get near him to do that, and he's a powerhouse. Uh, if you watch his uh, bar, he eventually will reach the maximum, which he can do a KO, which essentially is one-shot kills type of thing. So you got a heads up and watch out on that. Uh, Mega Man was a little bit difficult to master. I saw a lot of people try Mega Man out, and no one really got the, the whole you know, capabilities of what Mega Man can do. He seemed like a pretty awesome character. He had a lot of shields, uh, a lot of blocking capabilities, but he was a little bit slow, and uh, just, I don't know, like, he didn't... He didn't reign through to me as the character that I'd go for. Now I have to say though, his, uh, his final smash ability was pretty epic. I got to see all the Mega Man... Uh, Mega Man? Yeah, that sounds appropriately. Uh, come across oh, the screen cool. with like a Super Mega Blaster. It was pretty awesome. Uh, other characters, we got to see uh, Zero Suit Samus. Uh, she was kicking some butt. I, I mean, that was one of the other characters everyone seemed to really like. Uh, rumor was going around that she was a really solid character to play with. Uh, Greninja, another one that uh, seemed to be a fan favorite of everyone that was playing. Uh, definitely, you know, he, he could hold his own, but it wasn't uh, dominating the matches. I mean, it, it really threw down, like, everybody picked Mark, and they wanted to get a t-shirt. Um, so basically, with my hands-on experience, the gameplay is amazing. It's very fast-paced. It's very Super Smash Bros. Uh, one of the biggest features, though, and this is what I love, as approaching everyone, everyone's like, oh my gosh, they have a demo of it. Uh, I really want to play it. And they're like, oh, but what controller are they going to be using? And the minute somebody said GameCube, everyone flipped out. They were very excited to see the GameCube uh, controllers back. Uh, personally, that's what I like. I was trying to play Brawl the other day uh, with the Wiimote. It didn't quite work out, and I even tried the advanced controller, which also just really threw me. Uh, it seems that you know the GameCube one is the one to stick with, uh, though I'd like to try the new advanced controller because I've heard those are really nice as well. Um, overall, though, the game is phenomenal. It plays fast. It's quick. 
Um, I can't wait to see like the final build of the game. We're hearing uh, rumors, uh, 32 characters. That's pretty epic. Um, it just got announced we have uh, Pac-Man, who was uh, that, that to me is just amazing. I, I really like the um, not just the, the character choice of Pac-Man's cool. We've seen him. Uh, he was in that the Tekken versus Street Fighter, which is neat. But what I really was impressed about was the style that they went with. It's old school Pac-Man. It just it, it was just pretty awesome. Uh, another character, I forget what her name is off the top of my head right now. You guys are probably all screaming at me. She's from Kid Icarus. Uh, she's she's in there. And uh, what the breakdown we kind of saw, it seems that she might be faster than even Sonic. So, uh, yeah, that's going to certainly add an interesting gameplay element. Um, so be sure to check back here for all our video news. And just a heads up, everybody, uh, every Thursday night we are doing Pixel Play. Uh, that is Thursday night at 7 p.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. Or if you're on the East Coast, well, hey, it's at 10 p.m. Uh, drop on by on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash pixelatedgeek. Uh, and there you can see all our videos. Uh, so be sure to check back weekly for all your gaming news.